What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're not going after lobster today. It's December 15th, 2019. We were in church this morning and my oldest brother Aubrey commenced to show me pictures of trigger fish. They jacked the trigger fish up yesterday. Well, another big thing is, is PK, those of y'all that watch deer meat for dinner, PK from Rhoda, he's in town. And the best fish dish I've ever had in my life, bar none, was out at the ranch when PK cooked trigger fish. So tonight, we're eating trigger fish. Hopefully, if I can get down there and find them, Aubrey might gar hold me. I don't know. He's behind the camera. We'll see y'all on the bottom. Dive, 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 dive. All right. Old Blue Gabe's in the water. Uncle Aubrey's running the camera. We got the dive flag out. As you can see, it's about 75 feet to the bottom. Try not to give away my numbers. Old Gabe's heading down.
Here he comes, there he is. I was attacked by triggerfish. I was literally mobbed by him. So I set my GoPro on the ground so I could film myself cocking the gun and I looked down there and there was triggerfish destroying my GoPro. And I know you guys are gonna get to see that footage. But we're in a hurry, the sun's getting ready to set. Aubrey wants to do a dive. <coughs> Let him film his and we'll see y'all in in a minute. Don't come back oh, without something bro. to eat. We gone. All right, so as y'all can see, Aubrey is down. But while he's down, let me explain to you some of this footage you're gonna be seeing. When you see me cocking my gun, or you see that GoPro shaking, that is those trigger fish literally biting the camera. I thought that they might break the case because they bite so hard. And I'm sure a couple times you're gonna see me get bit while I was putting them in the bag. I don't really scream because I was trying to get as many in there as quickly as I could. And there was a couple big snapper and one big snook. Leave a comment below if you noticed the snooking amongst all those fish. That was pretty neat, pretty cool added bonus. Now I gotta get off here and wait for Aubrey. It's rough, you always wanna keep an eye on your divers. Whoa, 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 don't panic. We'll be right back to Aubrey Spearing. But first I wanted to ask y'all to leave a comment below. If you've ever ate trigger fish, what is your favorite way to cook it? Because that's what we're cooking tonight. Leave a comment below real quick, and then come back to the video. All right, y'all, here he comes. What you got? What did you want? I wanted fish. I thought you wanted snappers. Oh yeah, I wanted snappers. I got snappers. Y'all, if this footage is bad, look how that GoPro fogged up in there. Look at that. Hey, hey, what did Gramps used to say? I quit school because of recess. Where's the lobster bag? You didn't give it to me. For real? Yeah, you kept it in the boat. What? Dirty dog. That's all you came up with? That's, I had, I didn't even have a bag. I figured you had the bag with you and it was full. No, take the tank. All right, tell us about it real quick so we can head in. Hey, listen, got down there and uh, visibility wasn't what I wanted. Tons and tons of lane snapper, porgies, this and that. Picked out three uh, nice mangrove snapper for dinner. Time to head for the hill. We'll All right, so, yeah, I made a body shot on this snapper, which is abnormal. Normally we shoot them in the head, but I just get up and Aubrey goes, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that I bent the shaft yesterday on a big amberjack. I bet I missed four or five times right then and I couldn't figure it out. So let's show you how to measure these trigger fish. Now, if you follow or if you have an iPhone or Android and you get fish rules, it's called fish rules app. Aubrey, my older brother developed it. You'll read the rules. Some fish are total length, some are fork length. A trigger fish has to be 12 inches to the fork, not total length. So that could be a huge determining factor. Put his nose on the line. 
Right there, he's 13 and a half inches long. Completely legal. So every now and then when we're coming in, I think, God, every time we go diving, I show you all this view. Maybe y'all don't want to see it. Then I just thought to myself, I've been looking at this view for 39 years and ain't never got tired of it. So y'all probably won't get tired of it either. So between here and the dock, I'll show you all a little bit more of what Jupiter Inlet looks like. Right over my right shoulder is the Jupiter Lighthouse. It was lit in 1892 and it saved a lot of people's butts that were in bad storms and couldn't find the inlet back in the day. Now, thankfully, we have GPS's and we don't have to deal with that lighthouse, but knowing that back in the day, somebody depended on that lighthouse to get back to land. That's pretty, pretty neat, don't you think? Awesome. You know, somebody one day, whether it was back in the late 1800s or early 1900s, looked up and said, thank the Lord, there's the lighthouse as my phone rings. I'm trying to get a little bit, you know, sentimental with y'all, and my phone rings. Who was it? Robert. It was Ru Ru Deer Meat. He hates it when people calls him when he's <laughs> filming. But yeah, like I was saying, you know somebody back in the day, way out in the horizon, all they could see was a little glimmer of that light. They thought, thank God, there it is. So I stand corrected, it was lit in 1860. Just like that, we're back to Uncle Aubrey's canal. Gonna dock the boat, unload everything, haul butt back to my house, and show y'all how to cook a trigger fish. And I'm so excited because I'm so hungry. Leave a comment below if you'd like to own that house. I know I would, but I couldn't afford the taxes on that joker. What y'all know about that? It's time to knock the sides off of this here trigger fish. I thought you were cleaning it whole. I am. Well, why do you say knock the sides off of it? Film him. Why Why are you buttoning into my show? Look. I'm sitting here playing with Redneck. Look, I'm just y'all see? I've already practiced on one because just like in his video when he did it, he had never done it, but I practiced. Look here, go right here. Just like that. Now I did already gut him, so All 
I still think my way was easier. Okay. Come right here. Cut that off. Come right up here. Their skin is like bulletproof vest. All right, so once you have him cut right down the center, right down the center, his fins off, turn around and grab his hide like this. It's just like taking a pair of pants off. What would you know about that? Well, I know a thing or two. Look at that. Just like this. I don't wear pants very often, but I've taken some off. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. Redneck said he is upset about the lack of attention he's been getting since he became a YouTuber. He's on every video almost. He said he's only there because you point the camera at him, but you're not actually showing him true affection. Hey. And just like that, we got the whole naked fish. Now we're going to let PK, who's filming right now, take over the cooking part. All right, it's time to feed the crabs. Now here's an update. Paul Kafara, who you just saw on Robert's channel, and heck, he's a huge YouTuber, so you've probably seen him before I just said about it, but he's got a big tank. We're gonna go to his house, pick it up, and come back here. We already got it all lined up, but right now they gotta eat. Let's see. Come on, Sheila. Come on, Sheila. She's a little bit more shy now because she hasn't been in the tank as long. Here she comes in all her glory. Frank has been acting super shy ever since I put Sheila in the tank. But let's see if I can't get him some food. What? The goby just took that piece. All right, here it comes. Here, Frank. Come get you some. Okay, what you're experiencing there is what many men all over the world have experienced. Frank used to be a bachelor. <laughs> he had the house the way he wanted it. <laughs> He did what he wanted. When there was food, he ate it. Then you introduce Sheila. Next thing you know, he's just a part of her house. He gets to eat only whenever she tells him to eat. And right now, she's probably got him on a keto diet or something weird, trying to tell him that he's gaining too much weight. So my point is we should cook Sheila, do a catch, clean, and cook, and then Frank's going to have his house back. Did you ever think Frank would get that big? No, I'm amazed that he got that big. So, when I put Frank in there about three months ago, he was that big. That big. That was it. Now, he's seven inches from tip to tip. I think I'm going to let him have one more molt. They, I think they molt on the moon phases. So, the next full moon, if I feed him correctly, he should molt one more time. Or I might just let him die of old age in that tank. I don't know. But the new tank's coming, and hopefully we can get him and Sheila to breed and have babies and us capture it on camera. Now, it's time to cook the trigger fish. What's up everybody? Tell them where you're from. I'm from uh, the beautiful island of Rota, and it's uh, located in the Mariana Islands. And today we're cooking for Blue Gate. You think you can put a little bit like more perfect <laughs> in your personality? That's the thing, you know. I just get what I get with you? Yeah. That's it. All right, show us what you're working with. So Gabe cleaned up some trigger fish that he caught today in the Mariana. Hold on a second. Hold on. Can you quit eating for a second while we're trying to do this film? You haven't ate all day. He's trying to get some camera time, dude. Here, you need some attention? All right, now go lay down. He's almost done. He said, hold on. All right, so now back to your story. Okay, so in the Marianas, we call this uh, Pulono. Can you say that in English? Uh, trigger fish. <laughs> <laughs> Say the polona again? Polonun in, Chum in Chamorro, in the Marianas. In English, they call it trigger fish. All right, what you gonna do with them? Um, so now we're gonna, we're just, what we're gonna do is we'll season up the fish, throw it in the grill, let it smoke for a little bit, then we'll put some secret sauce. You wanna do both sides? Is it necessary to rub it once you put it on there? Yeah, you always want to rub thing, you know. It helps it uh, put the flavor in the... Okay, while PK is seasoning his meat, I'm going to show you guys 
this is a trigger fish. Even while he's fully cleaned, see that? That trigger won't go down. That This dorsal fin won't go down. But if I press this, it'll go right down. That is the trigger. See that? And you just pull the trigger. Hmm. I didn't even know that. You didn't know that? No. Okay. This can only be a 25 minute video. So we need the seasoning part to be like 30 seconds. Okay. There you go. Frank's waving at you right now. He says that was a heck of a good idea. Frank! He's so scared of Sheila, I think. Literally, ever since I put her in there, he's not come out of his hole. He's scared. Go with the butter garlic. Come on, that's my favorite. You want to give it a nice, even amount on both sides. All right, now let's just go lay it on the grill. All right. Here we go. number one there we go smoke it for a little while yeah smoke it and right now we're gonna go back in and do the sauce so we can be basting it and then we'll wrap it up for the final and should be ready to eat Woo! Yeah. all right what's next right we're gonna make the sauce or the base for the fish Put some little bit of oil so we can saute some onions. Oh my goodness, you're so fantastic. Huh? Um, who invited y'all? Um, myself. What? Yeah. What? Now, first, pan is hot, put some grease on, put some onions, saute those onions. We're gonna add some butter. Up. That pan will get hot quick now. Now the butter. Well, I went from thinking I was cooking triggered fish for one to now dear mom got here. Obviously, y'all have seen him. He's over there watching sports. I don't know exactly. He's not participating in much. Ari and Emma and Luke and Jake are in the game room. And we're getting it down in the kitchen. Next step. Now put some black pepper. Some. Oh yeah, everybody knows I love that. Kimchi base. You gotta go bathroom? Yeah. Hey. You didn't give me a hug. Oh. What if I tickle you? <laughs> <laughs> That's already smelling so good. But can y'all smell that? Honey, hmm. I got a quick question for you. Okay, so that's Frank. Yep. That's the male. That's the female back right. over here. Before, and the female's name is Sheila. Right. Before Sheila came here, Frank ate everything he wanted. He was always out cruising around. If this is an analogy between you and I, no, no, no. No, it has nothing to do with us. I'm just, but Gabe said now since Sheila's in the tank, he just hangs out in his room and he doesn't do that much. Is that, what, I mean, do you have any idea what could be going on? Like she redecorated everything and now he's just hanging out and he's getting According huge. to all you men, it would be considered whipped. According to you women, it'd be a good man, so. Sheila now is sitting where he used to always sit. And look at her, she's got her claws open like she can hear us talking about it. Oh yeah. Frank, leave a comment below if you want to get her out of the what tank. What is this? That's, Gobi. We haven't named him yet. PK, what temperature do you want the grill? Uh, like a, between, right now, what's the temperature? No. 215. Emma. Okay, that should be good. Give it to me. Well, we're going to go a little hotter than that. So now we're just going to base this up. And let them cook with all that kimchi sauce. Boy, boy, that smells good. Oh, man, look at that. How about that blue game cutting board? Woo! Can 
Can y'all smell that? I'm just just curious if y'all can smell it. Look at the meat's just falling off the bone. Alright, let's put that inside and come back and get all these juices. Alright y'all, this is pretty much going to be life changing good. Look at that. Here's the juices we got off the grill. We're going to take a little heap and spoon of that. Put it right on that white rice. Alright Robert and Sarah, let's go. Alright, so we got all four kids here. We're not going to sit down and eat a big meal. We're going to do it, but not on camera. Right now, we're just going to try this fish and show y'all just how good it is. Let's make Sarah say the blessing. She never says the blessing. I'll say the blessing. What kind of fish is that? Trigger fish. Dear Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for a wonderful church service this morning. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins and coming down and being born into this crazy world to die for us again. Lord, please nourish us food to our body and forgive us of our sins. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Big shout out PK for cooking. That's really good. Did you make it? Mm -hmm. That's really good. <laughs> it's moist. Did he make it or did you make it? No, PK made it. I didn't do yeah. anything. See All that. I did was shot the fish. See how the meat comes off? Now, y'all got to know this. Aubrey and Gabe invited me to go spearfishing today, but I just wanted to hang out at the house and relax and not do anything. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd have speared some of these too. That's right. It's good too. But yeah, this is this is a hundred percent epic. PK, I'm impressed. That's really good. Do you yeah. try it? No. Try it. I know it. Get, get some. Good. Get you a bite. Come on. What do you think? You can't eat around here. Oh my I God. get ten percent of the credit for this because I took him to the Asian market in Stewart so he could get all his ingredients. That's really good. You took him so he could get beet on that. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you sell it? Mm. What's in that rice? Make it good. It's not like plain, but it looks plain. But it's oh, I it's just white rice. That's, That's the. Extra juices off the fish. That is freaking delicious. Show it how it just comes right off yeah. the yeah. big bones. It's all that's left. PK, will you eat the eyeball? Yeah. Are you serious? Fair enough. Somebody's always got to eat the eyeball. Well, let me let me finish my bite before you do, so I'm not gagging. See, that's not the good part right there. It's that right there. The mucus behind it. Mm. That looks. Like I think that's the most facial expression he's ever had on camera. Yeah. Over eating, and it was an eyeball. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Even though the cheeks. Well, the cheeks are meat. That's the cheek that Robert just scooped out. Of now there. look, you can literally just pick this up. Look, that yeah. whole fillet stayed on the plate. Flip it over and show him that cheek as you took it out on the other side. That side. Oh, it already. The cheek already fell off. Yeah. It yeah. fell off. Let's see if we can knock any meat off. Right here. Wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, I can't reach. Bring it closer to me. Mm. All right, there's good, man. That is some good stuff. Okay, and you it. know this, man. Try it. I've already tried it. I tried it when Robert cooked it. I've told everybody my favorite fish meal ever was at the ranch that day. Y'all check out Robert's video. That was Trigger Fish Catch, Clean, and Cook, right? Mm-hmm. That so tastes good. just like the Paco. Uh uh, don't say that right now. <laughs> What's the Paco? Paco or whatever it is. Paco? Yeah, Gabe loves that. A lot of people, I did a big Instagram post today while we were out there spearing them. And believe it or not, we had people say, Why would you shoot trigger fish? Like, who wants trigger fish? I don't know. I have no idea. Uneducated people to say that. You can taste the smoke in there too. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for all the positive comments. But right now I gotta go get all these kids, bring them in here and feed them and get them ready for bed because they got school tomorrow morning. Like Jake always says, we're getting out of shape and we're getting the heck up out of here. Peace.